Welcome to the realistic bracket build, or I guess, I, I don't know, I don't exactly know what to call this series, but the whole goal of this series is to build a realistic car. I want to use a random number generator to basically figure out how much money I'm allowed to spend, and then we will go build a car off of it. So give me one second, I gotta get the random number generator up. We're gonna do 2,000 to 10,000 for this first one so we can at least figure out what uh, we can spend here. So we at least have something to play with. So, ready? 47.23, so what I'm gonna do is open up the calculator app on my phone and every time I buy a part, we subtract it from that 47.23. Maybe for this, we'll, we'll round up. We'll say 4,800 because that'll be easier just to keep track of things. So let's go back to Nitto. So we got 4,800 to spend. I just bought the Civic. The very most, the most important part in this game, I feel like, is tires because that gives you the ability to rev your car at virtually whatever RPM you want with most cars. So we're already going to subtract 400 bucks. So that puts us down to 4,400. From there... We'll go back. I don't think suspension's that important. Um, definitely Magic Gearbox is important. So that's half our budget, pretty much. 2560. Oops. So that puts us down to 1840. And then from there, I'm thinking we don't really need wheels. There's no reason to make this thing lighter. Um, the most power giving part is usually forced induction, but with forced induction, I feel like we're going to need some form of boost control, which means we would have to go turbo. And I think turbo is more expensive than we have because I can do turbo kit for 500 bucks. And then boost controller is... another 240 so that's 700 so that might be okay because i want to have some control and actually gain a little bit of horsepower here i don't want to be all just stock power and weight because i want to see i want to be a little bit realistic here so you know i'm thinking yeah boost controller and a turbo setup that's pretty realistic for honda people because turbo setups are actually pretty cheap in real life so we're going to match we're going to subtract 240 to install the boost controller. And then we are going to install the turbo kit here. There we go. So that's that minus another 400. So we still have 1200 to play with, but let's go hit the dyno real quick. So right now we are at 248. That's great. We're only at a max boost of 8 PSI. Let's just see what it runs completely stock and we'll go from there. So I haven't even messed with ratios yet. So we're just going to go. Yeah, we'll go here. No matter what, I'm probably going to end up going first. With 240 horse, I'll just put 15. Um, ooh, I got to turn down computer audio. All right, let's just see what this thing runs. I'm going to clutch up. Actually, no, that's probably stupid. I'm going to clutch down because then I can just launch like this. So we're at 8 PSI. We're going to launch with 8 PSI. Let's just see what it runs. Okay, that's a terrible RT, but that's okay. This is stock ratio. Keep that in mind. And if I want to do this for bracket racing, which makes the most sense, I want to use as little gearing as possible. So it looks like I could make this potentially a two gear car right now, but I don't like quite how it launches and we still have 1200 bucks left. So I want it to launch a little bit harder. So I think I'm going to, we're going to get the most power, but that's too expensive. We only have 1200 bucks yet left. I can turbo upgrade for a few more PSI. I think that's worth it. So we'll do minus 400 again. Puts us down to 800 left, which means we can do some simple engine stuff here in a few minutes. But we're going to run the dyno. 
That puts us up to nearly 300. We're at 12 PSI max. Let's just see if it'll even launch and how it launches. This kind of stuff is fun. I like doing this. So we're going to launch this here in a second. Ooh, that doesn't launch any better. I need to do... Yeah, I need to do better gear ratios. I want it to bounce back as soon as it gets to idle RPM, when it drops really far down like that. So let's see. Um, Let me just... No, I want to make this higher, actually. We'll make it four. We can make this a three gear, no problem. We still have some money left. Let's not forget that. We can always max turbo setup and do BOV and all that. But realistically, that isn't needed. So let's see what it launches like now. Because the harder it launches, the faster it launches like that, the easy it is to RT. Easier it is to RT. But now it's not a three gear. It's going to be a four gear. But we do have some wiggle room, I noticed, with those ratios. So, do like 3.888. That might be okay. Actually, what's our third gear? I can lower this a little bit. We can go 5. That's fine. Totally fine. Uh, we're running 12s now. I'm going to lower this to like 13. I think that's fine. And we're going to rev it. All right, full rev. It's going to bounce right back, which is great. It's still kind of a terrible hard thing to RT, but that's okay. It's not going to rocket launch at any sense of the word. So I think I'm still going to have to shift to fourth with these ratios. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, let's try that again. I doubt it's going to be that easy. Why is my RT so terrible right there? That didn't make any sense. I left so early. It's going to make me shift to fourth, but that's okay. Wow. This is one of the... Okay, this is really consistent. I just got to figure out where to launch. Let's try this again. 631. Yeah, I'm launching like yellow light, which is just insanity. You shouldn't launch that early. I want to make this a third light launcher. That's all. I just want it to be a third light launch. Okay, that's what I was expecting. Um, third light launch, which means we need a little more power. But where do I pull more power from? I only got 800 bucks left. Um, you don't use nitrous in bracket. It's a bad idea all around. I could do air intake for 160. Uh, let's do engine internals. Those actually usually add more for really, really cheap. Like cam gears are 80 bucks. Let's just slightly build the engine here. We'll do the most, the cheapest stuff in here. These are a hundred bucks. So we're down to 620. I want to do injectors, minus 240. Those are a little bit expensive, but that's okay. We're down to 380 left. Um, how much are pistons? Low or highs? Highs are cheaper at 280. What about fuel pump? 100 bucks? Hell yeah. So we'll do 100. That puts us down to 280. Wasn't that the exact cost of... Wait, what about a throttle body? 184 for a throttle body is really good. These high comps were exactly 280. Let's do it. We have spent exactly 4,800 bucks. Let's go. Let's go see what this thing dynos out to. Oh, it's a perfect 300. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Um, let's do the minimum ratio just to see what third gear is going to do. I can't win this. Why am I going there? I'm going to have to wait to launch, but that is okay. Let 
Not long though. 0.68, it launched okay. We're gonna make sure we shift right. The, we can definitely, oh, uh, this is a three gear all day now. Can we make sure there's no engine damage? Oh, there is. You'd be surprised what two HP does in this game for some reason. 1.222 is what we'll do. And we'll make this a little lower too. Just, let's just keep it even, you know, it's simple. There we go. I just want to see what I can make this thing run and if we can make it consistent. So I'll probably pause this in a minute and really mess with the ratios and we'll go from there. So, okay, that was a foul. That's okay. Making it a four gear might not be bad. If it bounces on the limiter too, that's not necessarily bad either. But I really want it to just be even. Uh, 190. That should be okay. So it was a 12.9 car, so I want it to stay. I think the perfect dial in is this 12.9 for what we're aiming for. It should be roughly around that. Contrary to popular belief, there are not specific frames there like there was in 1320 Legends that you want the race to end on. So everybody seems to go for these very specific dial-in times. They want to go for 12.766, 8.533. They want to go, you know, 13.0, 17.066. Those don't really seem to exist in this game because we run it at 120 FPS. So, at this point, I don't think the actual dial matters. It's more just about consistency of shifting and your setup, which is exactly what we're aiming for right here. It's not that consistent, but I'm also getting engine damage every run, which will stop happening once I, uh, once I am, once I've run, ran the car enough. Ooh, that was very early. That's the other reason why I like bracket cars that you shift earlier, like shifted at 7K. Oh, I shifted that one late. Let's shift this one early. I might try that with this, actually. 13032. That's one of those dial-ins that people would call a quad time. Just because it ends on a weird frame. 641, whatever. It might not hurt to make this sh thing shift at very specific RPMs. It does run very well. Uh, I don't know this phone number. Anyway, 12.871. That's the fastest this thing's ever ran because I shifted it way too well. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to try shifting at 7K. Just every gear 7K. Okay. Okay. Maybe making a turbo bracket car is the wrong thing to do. 13.6. Let's see how that does over and over. <coughs> Let's go. All right. Oh, I shifted that way late. But that's what I mean. Now I could shift that gear early and just let it run out. Let's see how it goes. And yeah. So 13.6 if I shift it slightly early. I have more control. I want to thank um, somebody in the community named Mutt. He was explaining that's how he runs his bracket cars. Was He likes that he can control when it shifts. If... Uh, you know, it shifts early or late or whatever, things of that nature, if he sets it up that way. And that's kind of how this thing is shaping up to be. I bet this thing has engine damage. It's only 2 HP. That shouldn't make it that inconsistent. I do still find it weird. Here, we're going to do 13.599. I do find it weird. 
that I'm this bad at bracket. That could also just be the problem. I bet I could send this to somebody who's good at bracket and they could make fire ratios for it and it would be a beast of a car. Or, you know, something else we can do. Let's try something with this car. So this idea comes from Brett. We're going to take fourth gear and put it to like 0.5. And then what we're going to do with this gear is make it, you know, Make it legitimate. We're going to make each gear kind of legitimate here. So 6, 9, 2, 5, 5, and then 0. 0.5. And we're going to see what this thing runs. Now, you might think, okay, that's really weird and a little bit unrealistic, but so is editing gear ratios this way, so I don't want to hear it. The reason we set a 0. 0.5 gear on fourth gear and raise third is once we get to fourth gear, it's going to just hang and stop accelerating basically. So it's kind of like throwing it in neutral and just coasting. See? I wonder how accurate that is. So let's try it again. I can make third and stuff even shorter too. I just need to learn how to launch a bracket car. I think that's the other problem in this game. Since I never run bracket, launching bracket is weird because I'm used to really you know, on the nose shift right now kind of cars. Oh, that's not accurate at all. Wow. Well, I think I'm just bad at this. So maybe we can scratch it up to that. But, uh, you know, who knows? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was not the outcome I was hoping for. I'm not good at bracket. But uh, if you want to see realistic builds or even community events that are centered around quote-unquote realistic builds, I think that's a really cool idea. And then it becomes a run what you brung. So the only thing that sucks about that is every car's parts are all the same price. So you're just going to get somebody that comes in with like a McLaren or a Dodge Viper that just cleans our clocks. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I have some fun ideas for an event that could go well, I think, where we do, you know, it's a $5,000 budget with this car only, run what you're brung, let's do it. I think that's a fun event idea. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.